the retro panel has been introduced, it's been built, but we're still missing the firmware. So with no more delays, let's head down into the basement and see if we can get the Arduino IDE to do most of the heavy lifting for us. And we're back and the sketch has been loaded up. Before continuing though, we have to ensure that we have the correct board type set up for the 5V Arduino Pro Micro, as shown on your screen. With that set, let's just hit compile and see where we're at. First error of the day is the uh, missing real-time clock library. So let's just look for that one. It's the RTC lib by a user called Nero N. Ensure that you get the correct one. There are several libraries named almost the same. For once, I'm fairly up to date. Well, fairly, so I'm grabbing the latest version from the list. With the library in place, let's just go hit compile again and see if we can get a little bit further. The next one missing is apparently the BMP280 dev library by Martin L1. Opening up the library manager again, we can search for it and download the one matching the description. Now that both of the libraries have been installed, the sketch should finally compile correctly. Before hitting upload, we'll just make a final check that the correct COM port has been set up. Hit upload and it should arrive safely on the device. And with that, the firmware is in place. Further configuration is then via the serial interface. The baud rate is 9600 and we need to ensure that it's selected. The first actual command is to configure the display type used. In this case the common anode variety. So let's just enter the command display the space and CA to set it. Entering the save command stores it to the onboard EEPROM. It wouldn't be a retro channel without the actual retro, so let's end with me doing just about the same thing over RS232 on a vintage computer running Windows 3.11 and the familiar terminal program. That's it for the moment. Bye.